dedicated to the grind and dedicated to you that's why we do what we do oh my goodness what's another saturday night without another controversial boxing match in las vegas nevada you understand what i'm saying at this time it was between Devin the Dream Haney and Vasily Lomachenko. They were battling it out for the undisputed lightweight championship of the world. This crowd at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada was in an uproar when the fight ended. Trust me, it was not in a good way. They were very, very angry. And let me tell you about this crowd. When Devin the Dream, no, when Vasily Lomachenko did his walkout, everyone in, in this American arena, they was like, yay, Loma, Loma, right? They was just, it was a wonderful, it was a wonderful cheer on. You got what I'm saying? Like Lomachenko, he should have felt very proud to be in America and representing the Ukraine because America loves Lomachenko. Now on the other side, when Devin Haney did his walkout, you would have thought that he was in Russia, how they were booing him. They were like, boo, boo. He had no cheers. He had no, he, had, he may have had seven fans in the arena. They were booing him as he, as he made his way to the arena. And I was like, oh my goodness, it's gonna be an interesting fight. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, Devin the Dream Haney managed to hold on to his titles with a unanimous decision. But the scoring raised a lot of eyebrows. Scores of 115 to 113 twice and 116 to 112 favored Devin Haney, leaving Lomachenko in tears in his locker room because he believed at 35 years old that he had regained the titles and become the new world champion did not agree he did not do enough to dominate the rounds he's he turned on in the eighth round that's when lomachenko turned on but the first seven rounds there is nobody who knows boxing and knows how to score a boxing match would have been like you know what yep loma did enough to take the belts from the reigning and defending lightweight champion of the world david Devin Haney, but you know, that's just how it is. You got what I'm saying? But the fight was still an incredibly close fight. Both fighters landed their fair share of punches. Um, some say Lomachenko outlanded Haney. Some say Haney outlanded uh, CompuBox. I think they had um, punt, uh, Lomachenko outlanded Devin Haney by 124 to 110, but Devin Haney, the dream, had a higher percentage of landed punches. You got what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just how it is. Now, Judge Dave Moretti's decision to award Haney the 10th round, despite being outlanded by Lomachenko, fueled all of this controversy. And now Lomachenko and his manager, Igis Klimas, they were far from happy with the scores. You got what I'm saying there? His manager vowed to protest because he didn't like the result. Now, the biggest issue raised was the inclusion of Judge Moretti and his manager protested his presence before. You got what I'm saying? But Nevada didn't listen to him, but they did not want that judge to be in the judging um, pool. But despite the scoring debate, one thing is completely clear, Devin the Dream Haney has proven that he's a top tier lightweight. Now, of course, there are other contenders like Shakur Stevenson, Javante Tank Davis, not to mention uh, Lomachenko, <laughs> you got what I'm saying? But Devin Haney's performance showcased his elite level skills and you have to credit his body of work as a dedicating factor in this fight, landing 50 punches to the body of a seal high tech Lomachenko. And Lomachenko is known for working all these angles and being so fast and jumping in and out and doing all of this matrix stuff. But guess what? Those body shots took their toll on Vasily Lomachenko. While the fight fans and some media members um, disagree with the decision, 
Haney understands that when you are at the top and you are the reigning, undisputed and defending champion, then it comes with a lot of criticism. He emphasized that the judge's unanimous decision is what mattered in the end. And you know, that's just how history sees things. You got what I'm saying? The victory though, not only brought him these belts, but it's earning him the respect of the boxing world. Now looking ahead, Devin Haney, he mentioned the possibility of moving up to 140 pounds and considering fighting uh, Shakur Stevenson and Javante Tank Davis. Um, he's he's eager to prove himself. And what I will say, he's consistently having to prove himself in a stacked division and to the boxing world. And for some reason, the boxing world just does not like Devin the Dream Haney. Now, Devin the Dream Haney, he's not out here drinking, drugging, thugging, doing all the inappropriate things in life. No, he's not doing none of that. He's really disciplined and he's doing what you're supposed to do as a champion. Even before this fight, he was selling the fight. He even pushed uh, Lomachenko. He was doing everything that he could do to sell the fight. And I, I, I will be glad when these numbers come out so I can see these numbers. But he did an excellent job. And then he put on an excellent display against an elite top level Olympian in Vasil Hatek Lomachenko. So man, my hat's off to Devin Haney. I'm telling you, you did your thing right there. But look, this is, let me know in the thought, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this fight? What do you think about the decision? Did the judge get it right? Did they get it wrong? Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Look, this is Power Ground Boxing, courtesy of Power Ground Sports. Punch a button, join the movement, and stay on the grind. Peace.